Hi there, on today's video we're going to be looking at how we can take cached meshes and how we can get nice slow motion speed ramping. And this is a slightly different technique as to how we would do this with a particle simulation. So without further ado, let's get started. In our scene we've got this cached fluid sim and you can see that if we scrub this backwards and forwards our particles uh, we can scrub them because we have cached data. If we activate this open VDB mesher you can see that we have actually meshed these fluid particles. This too is cached and we can scrub this backwards and forwards and that's cool. Let's say that we wanted to do a retiming effect here though with both the particles and the mesh. Let's say at this point we want this splash to be in slow motion this bit here. So let's get that set up. We'll switch off the mesh for now let's just look at these fluid particles if we go to our cache object we can go to playback and we can just quickly set up what we what we've explored in a previous top tip we're going to set the retiming to time seconds and on the first frame we're going to put a keyframe here on zero seconds the last frame which is 500 we need to convert convert that to seconds so 500 divided by 30 frames per second that's the project settings 16.6 let's add a keyframe and now we need to go to our timeline by clicking this button here is that new time track we've just created with the first and the last keyframe if we go to the curve mode we can change this interpolation between those two points to linear and now this will just play back as normal so let's get to the point where we get that splash we want to slow motion this bit so start maybe here we're going to add a keyframe where the playhead intersects our curve move forward to the point where you want it to go back to real time maybe here click so with this one highlighted we'll hold shift and draw a box around that one to highlight it as well and now if we move this to the right to flatten that bit out this is the slow motion section something like this so this is full speed this is full speed and we've slow mode this section and let's hit play we can see that happening slow motion splash and then full speed again cool so let's just hide that timeline so that's working fine and we've got perfectly smooth interpolation here even though we didn't have this data cached and that's because we have a fixed number of particles in this scene they're all born on the first frame and there's no additional particles and that means that when we slow this down in the cache it's able to fill in the, the gaps that missing data so we get perfectly smooth playback this technique won't work with foam particles because those foam particles have been generated dynamically every frame and it won't be able to fill in the gaps but with this fixed number of particles it perfectly does cool here's the problem though if we activate our mesher and play this through you'll see that the mesher is stepping look let's switch off those particles and just look at the mesh itself we get to the slow motion bit and it's stepping its way through the mesh isn't able to fill in those gaps that the particles could and that's because our mesh uh, the the vertices dynamically change every frame and so it isn't able to interpolate smoothly but we're still able to get a smooth mesh based on these particles all we need to do is cache the particles first which we already have retime those cached particles and then create a mesh built from the retimed particles so how do we do that well all all we need to do let's go to the beginning frame all we need to do is delete this cache data that was there already let's just delete that let's activate our particles and in the cache object we're going to go to build we're going to go to build cache but this is the important bit we're going to hit continue so what this is going to do is it won't try and re uh, recache the emitter it'll just play it back with that retiming curve but it will try and cache the mesher so let's hit continue this is going to take a couple of minutes so i'll pause it here and come back to you when this is finished okay now that cache has finished just took a couple of minutes so if we hit play now we're going to see that our particles obviously are going to be the same but it's not quite matched up and when we get to this curve 
ah, there's a problem. It's gone super, super, super slow motion, and it's not following the liquid. So what's happening? Well, it's just a simple problem that we can fix very quickly. What's happened is it's cached those particles correctly based on the retiming curve, but our measure is still linked to our cache object. And in our cache object, playback tab, we're telling it to retime itself. So it's effectively that retiming curve has been applied twice to our open VDB measure, which isn't going to work. We need to tell the mesher to ignore these retiming instructions now. And that's actually really simple. All we need to do is go to the mesher cache tag and we have an override option which will override the cache playback options. We can leave it in default, which just plays it at 100% scale, so just in real time. And now that we have done that, if we hit play, you're going to see that we're going to get perfectly matched up playback with our particles. And if we make just switch those uh, particles off, here is our slow, slow motion section with our mesh. And it is absolutely perfect, smooth, and it follows the path of those particles perfectly. Cool. So that is how we can retime generated meshes uh, based on retimed particles. This will also work for retiming trails as well.